Hickok 45 here for another slug fest. Oh no, wait a minute. Don't we do slug fest videos with shotguns? Yeah, shotgun. Look at this. Yeah. Didn't even have to aim. <laughs> so, yes, boys and girls, this is the Smith & Wesson Governor, a shotgun. Let's get some slugs, though, because we're going to we're gonna fest away with slugs today. Have a little fun, okay? Just happen to have a few of them. Boy, these are hard to get. Many of you already know that. They're uh, as rare as hen's teeth, especially in the uh, two and a half inch uh, variety. 410 Fest, a shotgun slug fest. For those of you, not, again, not aware of this, this is the Smith & Wesson Governor. Came out several years back. It's like the judge, kind of. Uh, for a shotgun, you can uh, shells, uh, 45 Colt, and this one even 45 ACP. Okay, so just to prove that, let's put some shotgun slugs in this baby and take some shots. You want to? Yep. Look at that. See, that's a slug. Again, if we have new shooters, new people to firearms, you can get shotgun shells that are kind of like a bullet. Okay, in all gauges. <laughs> I guess even in 28 gauge, right? I don't know if I've seen any, but anyway. All right, so now I've not shot, uh, wow, I don't think many slugs in this thing, but I, it dawned on me, I was in the mood to do a slug fest, and I said, what shotgun have we not done a slug fest with? And guess which one came to mind? This Smith & Wesson shotgun. <laughs> so let's see how it shoots. I, uh, I really am kind of uh, in the dark in a lot of ways. Uh, well, I'm always in the dark, but in terms of where to hold, let's start out with something big. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to water that bowling pin a little bit before I shoot it. <laughs> and let's hit the stop sign. Let me uh, see where they go. I'm going to hold right in the middle. Okay. Okay. I think I have one left, don't I? Mr. Cowboy? Yeah, shot him kind of low. All right. Might seem to print a little low. I don't know. I think the windage is okay, which is good. That means I won't have to adjust the rear sight, right? I'll just leave it where it is. Didn't know I was a comedian, did you? Oh, uh, no, John's a comedian. I'm the straight guy here. All right, you know what? Let's just go on over there to the gong. We're slugging today. Yeah, it should have been low. I'm gonna hold up a little more. I think it should have been low. Let's try, uh, let me try this uh, uh, tombstone here again. Let me make sure I know where to hold. I'm gonna hold right in the middle. Okay. All right, I, I think it shoots uh, pretty low. So I'm gonna hold a little higher. There we go. <laughs> you just gotta figure out where to hold. Where's a two liter? Oh, there's one on that tree. Boom. Do I have one left? Let's find out. I'm going to try a limb on that tree, the top limb. Click. Got to have a bullet. <laughs> Got to have ammo, don't you, before it does any good. Yeah, uh, I did hit the gong, I think. I heard it ringing. So I was holding uh, right on top of it. So as I determined, shooting the closer targets, it prints a little low with these. And, you know, do I have to tell you, these are not known uh, slugs of any kind for being incredibly accurate. Uh, uh, I've always had great luck with slugs from Federal and, and most other companies. They always seem more accurate than they ought to be, to tell you the truth. The reason I say that uh, in this firearm, it's uh, empty, as you can tell. You know, the rifling, gosh, how much of the rifling is there? Is it? Yeah, about half of that barrel is rifled. And so you're not really dealing with it. Plus we're shooting slugs. A lot of people would not be surprised if, if we couldn't even hit the cowboy with it, you know? But you know, firearms are just more accurate than we give them credit for. They really are. I have to get my, I don't want to tell y'all something wrong. 
I know I'm, let me look at that again. I'd hate to tell y'all something that wasn't true. I'm thinking of the judge and some other firearms, maybe more so. You know what? On this one, I think I was telling you wrong. I guess. This one, it almost looks like, it's rifled uh, more than I remembered, okay? Let me put it that way. And it almost looks like, I don't know if y'all can see it, but it, uh, my thumb in there, a little bit of light back there, but it's actually, uh, most of that barrel is rifled, it, it appears to me. It almost appears that it's, uh, the rifling is really shallow and then it gets heavier, dark or deeper. Yeah, so, I don't know, sorry about that. I'm, I'm ill prepared. I, I can't think which firearm it is. Maybe it's one of the little uh, Bond Derringers or something where it's very distinctly smooth bore out to about here and then it was rifled, I'm not sure. Again, don't trust me on that either. But I was thinking that one was like this, but it, it really looks like it's, it's more, there's more rifling in there than I remember. So anyway, uh, it, it's a short barrel. Slugs are not bullets, but they're, they're the closest thing to a bullet you can get in a shotgun shell, right? Seems to work with them pretty well. I remember having some issues with the judge we had. I, it's not a comparison here. I don't want to badmouth the judge, but uh, I may have trouble with this one before it's over. But we had some, I think, some lockup issues and uh, extraction issues with it, I recall. Now let me try a limb on that tree. <laughs> I changed my mind. I was shooting at that red plate behind it. <laughs> Y'all knew better than that, didn't you? Yeah, it puts it on around there. I bet it'll take that grain two liter out too. Oh man, nothing like a slug fest. Let's see if we can kill a buffalo. Yeah, probably not. Yeah. <laughs> I changed my mind. As I was pulling the trigger, I thought, well, maybe I don't want to hit a buffalo. Let's just hit a pig and a ram on either side of it with one round. Do a little trick shooting, right? You never know what's going to happen. I <laughs> hate to shoot all these slugs, but, you know, that's what I got them for. Yeah, you know, so we got another round. <laughs> we got another round. Uh, anything else? I, this is, again, just a slug fest. Have some fun. And as a reminder to everybody uh, that, uh, you know, this, this thing will shoot shotgun shells and slugs and, and all that sort of thing. So uh, it's, it's pretty interesting. It, it really is. Uh, a lot of people make fun of these firearms because they consider them, you know, gimmicks and all that sort of thing. I hear from a lot of you, though and a lot of you have these or the Taurus and you like them and you rely on them and uh, you know as you've heard me say many times sure beats a sharp stick and I, I kind of like these things I, I don't know if I've ever carried it in a self-defense role anywhere as an anti-carjacking or anti-elephant gun or anything uh, anti-tiger I just never have but uh, I tell you what, you can do worse. You can do worse. All right, I have a little trouble with extreme accuracy with it, as you'd notice. Uh, I'm not sure why. Let me try it red two liter. I think I tend to pull it down a little bit right, don't I? Boom, I, I think it pretty much shoots right on other than just a tad low. Let me throw a couple more at that buffalo and actually hit it, maybe. I'm gonna hold high. Or just on the top of its back. Should be about right. Well, that one got off on me. I think that was close, maybe. That one was not close, maybe. <laughs> I don't know where that one went. <laughs> we got one more bullet. Let's shoot it. Yeah, we appreciate Federal coming up with those. 
uh, I ordered I think a case I got about a half a case and you know they're just uh, there were no others available I put that in there right yeah turn the right way Smith & Wesson goes counterclockwise I got one round let's go double action on this plate boom and we hit it <laughs> pretty neat hey you know what this is a slug fest right look at this that's a slug will you forgive me if I shoot those this is a slug fest let's shoot some more slugs <laughs> those are some old rounds I had loaded for a long time in that thing looks like one of them was a little light so anyway uh, this is Smith & Wesson governor wanted to throw some slugs generally I think most people regard these as a a shotgun and <laughs> whatever because there are so many great pistols aren't there handguns revolvers where I can shoot 45 ACP I can shoot 45 cold 44 magnum 38 special you name it 357 magnum and kind of the claim to fame on on these the judge the the governor uh, there's probably others out there I'm not thinking of nowadays but uh, is the fact that you can shoot a small shotgun shell like uh, maybe some double odd buck triple odd buck there's some great uh, self-defense rounds available uh, for for these and a 410 case that that actually shoot a number of pellets okay like a shotgun would and that's the attraction in a way you know that's the niche this thing fits in and so you know so i regard it as a shotgun and today we thought we'd have a little fun slug festing with this shotgun and i'm really glad you came by to enjoy it with us come back again sometime we might do something else that makes very little sense life is good uh, all right it's a long walk from where i had to shoot that oh man oh hey didn't see you guys there since you're here I want to let you know about our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall, talongungrips.com. Check out everything they have over there. You can get lots of different grips, the stick-on grip textures for your handguns and rifle grips, so go check them out. Also, Ballastall, they're a firearms lubricant or anything else you might need lubricating. Uh, it's water-soluble and non-toxic. Been using it on the compound and cleaning all of our guns. It's a cleaner and a lube for over 10 years. So Ballastall, Talon Grips, definitely check both of those companies out. And also, while you're on the internet, don't forget to go to Hickok45.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Hickok45, Twitter, Hickok45, Instagram, The Real Hickok45. And also, I have an Instagram page where I post behind the scenes stuff and different things like that. John, J-O-H-N underscore H-I-C-K-O-K-4-5 on Instagram. And uh, the next thing you have to do is watch more videos.